I'm gonna watch a new cyberpunk demo. I have not. I think it's kind of cocky to watch, but I guess I'll check it out because everyone keeps asking me about it. Uh, is it allowed to be streamed though? I guess it is, huh? It's this one. 48 minutes long, though. Always clear. Go. Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077. A narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your long, character using a deep customization system. For this demo, we're going to play a few. Keep in mind that what you see here is not fine. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities. Thank you very much, Mr. Curse, with the 45 years. You can use an array of different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. It's clear. Go. Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Nudity? I don't think video game nudity has ever been a problem. As long as it's, um, as long as it's not the main thing of the game, you know? Like, uh, nudity in video games is completely fine. It's just like, when the game is completely focused only about nudity, and it's like kind of pornographic content, then it's not. That our target V. Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. On the we'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. Not too impressed by the combat. This is Kereznikov. Yeah, the combat looks kind of like luster, but I also don't think it's the main focus of the game. He's 
Looks more interesting later in the demo. Yeah, I, I guess so. Maybe um. Oh, oh, destructible walls. What is Amos Siege? I do like that. Can't see shit. It's work in progress. Even though it's work in progress, I think this is not gonna be too much different from the finished project, especially when it's the beginning of the game. But yeah, it's just the beginning of the game, so I guess later it's gonna be like skills introduced and then random passives and all that shit. Like the first thing I noticed already, well, it, that could change the the shots. They feel very empty. It's like you know, you're shooting a handgun. It feels like he's blowing air at them. Just the nudity part. Got our target. We make it. She alive. This does not look good. No, in a minute, jacking into Biomon. There's advanced combat section towards the end. I'll check it out, dude. I'm not gonna watch all of it today. Maybe Send later. Door set NC fifty seven oh four forty two. Got a winner. Well, she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma team platinum too. Platinum. Shit. TD should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the biomon signal. Talk to me, T bug. Virus probably. Locate her neural socket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. If we clear it, free up the signal. TT could actually drop in. Take her off our hands. Got the shard. Removing it now. Done. Mm. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is That's such a location in Ghost in the Shell Futures. Yeah. Bad. Let's get her out of here. Your premium plan will cover ninety percent of the projected costs of your rest. <laughs> Yeah, that she's flatlining. V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Can't China. <sighs> she's stable. <sighs> well, China, get her outside. I'll cover you. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches. Two vans full just pulled up outside. What am I eating? Some plain yogurt with uh, muesli. Fuera, get her out. I love this shit. Stand clear. Landing. Stop where you are. Place the patient on the stretcher. Five steps back. Now. Step back! PT-133 to control. Patient NC-570-442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams... Some YouTube video out get banned. Boy. If you think... Hey, you anything is this here? sensitive... That they're gonna ban people... No for watching a video... Of a video Connection. game... Where a nipple gets shown... I think... um. You gotta think a little bit for yourself, man. Just a little bit. A kind of high-end premium medical insurance. Don't have much time for what Bug said. We've delivered the target, and Tiba has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine too. How about you, Ina? Probably blowing all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. You can live in a country of combat. Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world. And as you just saw, it's people. Hello, Night City. You may have seen you in the city channel last night's biz. But first, remember the man, the myth, Johnny Silverhand. Been years since he went on his last ride. 
All you gunks sitting in the afterlife nursing that scotch waiting for something better. You know what I mean. The job was a success, and V obviously has some money to burn. <clears throat> Just a refreshing take on player models and this up close. Usually, they're so fucking ugly. Like, just think like Bethesda games, right? And you see females or males, anything this up close, they're so fucking ugly, dude. Character models are ugly, like the textures are ugly, everything's ugly. But this game is like. Hmm. I, that, that's Bethesda models, though, yeah. It's um, kind of kind of unfair to compare to that. That's like, hmm. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistols. And also grab our jacket. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective Cyber stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building. A huge building <laughs> complex that forms a micro society oh, oh, of its own. Oh, oh, In this timeline, technology in Thanks, the world has evolved in some ways that seem familiar, when but entirely you. surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore, so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our Slacker. RPG experience <laughs> is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, who's the boss of this gym? Some Nicola soda. Urban freak. What is random tags? This is Wilson, one of Night City's so many bald. gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares today, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, oh, no. a located on the coast. Oof. The main thing I hope is that the RPG part of the game is really heavy. And, and it isn't just some FPS with RPG tacked onto it, you know? But so far, it looks pretty good on that department. World with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Very strong You kidding me? Signal gone down three times. Three times, yo. It's a piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Yeah, and hope it's also not a bad FPS at all. Like, um, like the first fight they showed, it was actually pretty bad. You're shooting a gun at a target, and it feels like there's no hit feedback whatsoever. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Every single one of them? What? There's no way. I refuse to believe it. There's no fucking way. There's no way they simulated every single one of these characters. To go to their home, like it's all like moral wins, but with a ten thousand more NPCs, there's no fucking way. Okay, there's Jackie. Ew. 
finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Sound familiar? He wants to talk to you. What a night city's top face these days. Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a Time to stalk a single NPC. I think more than one. Fine, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be in Senior Rippers. Good news to me. Good luck, V! It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun. A fixer. A person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V. A pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. You interested? He's so bald. Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Slaughter the show. This game is captured with 1080 Ti. That's my video card. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat bot. They call it the Flathead. Of course, I got the Eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? Clear on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. They better explain why it they call Cash Eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He That's wants a us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. Yeah, it's Earl of Dollars, we'll but why the fuck Eddies? From a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. EDs, oh my god. Because they're EDs, they call them Eddies. Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Ah, that's still terrible though, fuck. Everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spill! On the horn? No. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dog. Can you like just pull out your gun here and start gunning down people? And then guards come and then you die? Crime is a common occurrence. Right, Nice to see this for the 23 place. years. Life here is not easy. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release. How to play out with Dex? It's all here. All right, I'll check it out while I wait for you. Is he doing drugs here? V? 
Dr. Vector will see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Oh, it wasn't Vicky, as spry as ever, you old Ripper. Hey, on the chance, in with a couple of Gain in the upper hand pretty darn quickly. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. Wait, oh, this is the place. <laughs> really? That all no. was drugs. Finally. Next shit just got real. Hitting the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. The Dexter Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I oh. swear. Now sit. Animations are so good in this game. Everything, like all the animations are really good in this game so far. Nothing seems out of place. That's Karoshi. Best I've got. And should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. This is what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your corner you and a subdermal weapon grip. The link's not labeled. And to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. <sighs> yeah, it I'm says ready. the price, but not Carve away. how much they have. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Hmm. Now a bit of anesthetic, and I can start cutting. Cutting? Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So let's test it. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look to you? With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. I'm wish I had that in real life. <sighs> this is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. Weak point heads. One weak spot. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. <laughs> that ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> So the I don't know what to say. Ingram interface is actually say just uh and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now. Like I already said, it's actual in-game stuff. It's not like oh it's just for you, Mr. Player. No, it's Thanks. uh You're the best, the actual man. upgrades from in-game. Go on, kid, show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. Another shooter. <laughs> While some Ripper docks operate legal, others provide black market services. Not quite just another for the shooter, right price, they can even offer to install illegal military grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago, said he'd wait outside. Well, 
well, Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heina. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Thug. It's a thug. This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. <laughs> Something tells me that wasn't no coincidence. Oh, is this actual driving in the game? Or is this is this a cutscene? I can't tell. Gabriel away Jackie's from the wheel. Car is a super powered sports car running on two. It's actual driving. All the right. super fuel of the future. Players this is can a new explore road, huh? Night City freely in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. Not look good. Puta madre! Puta madre! Oh fuck! It looks like the scavengers have the shooting in the part in this game. Uh, it looks really like lost. Like from this too, right? Nothing new. Quite generic. No hit feedback. Um, the graphics are really nice. Though. I think we got rid of. That was intense. I want to see the melee combat. Night City never sleeps. Maybe the Spain melee combat is lurks more around every rewarding. corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these, these are an example of how your actions directly I don't think these kind of things change much. Experience. Let's get the especially if they're showcasing. It okay, like this. Jackie. So, if they're done riding our asses. Oh, this is way better for Scabs. driving than the first person sure. mode. Maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But who knows? Real messed up in there. Yeah, guys. the Witcher was the same, right? The Witcher Saw 3. It was, um, the combat was very like us, too. So. Okay, at best. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City. But the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? I hope the I'm melee in the combat is good. Shard, Ringer, she's but, in the area and we're gonna meet. Hmm. Let me Maybe guess. melee doesn't really have she's a real focus in this water. game. Desperate. You already saw a section in the game where you're forced to use See the if gun. I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, Let's assess the situation. Me rush! Freshly I would have landed with a tire island right here. Scanner. He jumped down from the bridge and he started clubbing people. Let's take a closer look. Composite armor. Car's a fucking tank. Shit. Yeah, Militech. No doubt about it. You sure you still want to meet him? Yeah. Gotta do this. Did I play do Deuce I played both Deuce X games, the recent ones. Not unless I start. Didn't like the uh, the last one though. Couldn't finish it even. It was so boring. First one was nice. First of them, new ones. These guys are levels higher than we are. Let's try to approach them carefully. Stout, take it you were the one to call. Yep. We wanted. You're smart. Yeah. What, you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Calm the hell down. What is this? I got you now, Thanks, Mr. Cookie Mon from the Prime. You're insane. Who the fuck is this? I'll know in two seconds flat. That fucking thing ready? All set. Are you here alone? The Corpos have Kinda hacked rapey. us through our personal link and have subjected Come us to a kind on. of lie detector program. The dialogue system in Cyberpunk 2077 Do it. is fully gameplay driven. I asked if you came alone. I wonder if it's on a timer or not. Like yep. A hidden timer. Just little old me. 
She's lying. Search the area. Now listen, Lewis. We don't need to be here all day. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Did he or another asshole at Militech leak info to you or anyone else about a convoy? It might be tempting to reach for the gun, but the no. consequences could Got be dire. To do with him Remember, or these guys are really tough. Shit. Checks out. <laughs> you got nothing on me! Nothing! Won't get away with this, you bitch! You're dead! Somebody shut him up. Take me home! Now! All right. I have no idea who you're working for or what you even want, but you better give me something solid or I will end give you. Give her something solid. I've got an offer. Oh, you are stretching. This better be fucking good. Gang goons who ripped you off? I know where to find them. They got a bot I want. Give me the funds to buy that bot. You can do what you want with the gang. I don't give a shit about the thieves. I want my mold. Credship, 50k. Just enough to buy you your bot. Thing is, Chip's gotta make it into the thieves' terminal. That's all I need. Think you can do that? Then we got a deal. Fine. I'm in. Dialogue is Try meh? To fuck I think me the dialogue is quite nice. I'll be seeing you real soon. <clears throat> First of all, it's fully this voiced, and the voice actors seem quite nice. You know, nothing seems out of place so The agent far. gave us the money to buy the bot we need. Second, they actually give you four options. To call the agent One of early. them seems to be suicide, which is to grab the gun. Non-violent path through this quest. Of and course, everything seems uh, and somewhat believable. You know, you haven't met an NPC yet that's on the merchandise by Kind of force, bored of being there. Which requires doing a the voice lot acting. of firepower. Like, it's pretty good dialogue. I'm not saying. No signal, so I stay put. Good thing, too. Went down about like I expected. Made a deal, and we're good to meet with Maelstrom now. Mm hmm I guess you can also choose to be a male, and then all of this dialogue is also just being said by a male, male uh, main character. <laughs> Remember the vampire NPCs? Be there soon. What do you expect? Yeah, Vampire was kind of like, How yeah. So How's the gameplay so far? Thank you, six, Mr. Hank. Uh, I think the count, the, the combat looks kind of lackluster. Gotta move the Everything else looks pretty nice. Your new best um, the actually, I, they haven't really shown much of the RPG character customization so much yet. Like, they've this? shown that Even flows now, with different types of stats. This quest. They've shown that you can get upgrades. Blaze, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the plan? simple. But we that's about it so far. And get out. They also mentioned weapon customization, so yeah, there's You're that too. This for this demo, let's try well, the more diplomatic approach. So, like, I don't know how it works with like skill points and maybe like uh, passive or even active traits that you can choose and all other random things. Leveling up in general, I'd say. <laughs> don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. For me, one of my favorite parts of these type of games is also min-maxing a character. Not necessarily min-max, making the most powerful, but the most powerful in the way that I want it to be. Prepared. Which is melee. With Very strongly. Cycleboard comes out with military-grade hardware worth millions. The guys we're about to meet are dangerous. Levels for certain. Yeah, there's definitely level ups, the and they mentioned and that there's no classes, but there's, there's like, um, even I guess you just pick up skill points rather than choose a class, similar to machines. Divinity 2. They don't shy Sin. away from even the most extreme. Like, no real set classes, but there's like, just whatever you want, you know, you just pick points in here and pick points in there. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned all foods meat factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken him by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Almost confusing the other divinity too. There's actually another divinity too, man. In fact, there's like two others in the series or something. Stay cool. One called Divinity 2, and then there's another one. Remember, some shittier we've one. chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast and easy. 
This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. What? Looking to buy a bot. Model MTOD12. Looks like a spider. Couch planted. <laughs> There's three divinities. Yeah, so uh, Yo, the try corner. not to be so edgy, kiddo. Like that. Try not to be so edgy. There's actually more than one divinity, even if you don't know them. Well, shit. Sit down. I'll stand. Can't move on your the aesthetics, pool. though. On some of these, look target. at that guy with um, the like really seven eyes. Hombre. I ain't your hombre. Sit. Sit your ass down before I plant a bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right, fucking oh, bravo. Oh, it's almost Come done. On, what? I've been watching it for 30 minutes already? I thought it was like 15. Have a whiff. Have a whiff. Better. Now we can talk. The bot. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out. State of the art this thing. Don't even got no standard port. Bells and whistles though. Dynamic camo armor and motor impulses rivaling that of the human nervous system. Its actuators are actually pimped with titanium fiber. And it can go anywhere. Literally. Watch this. Fully integrated link too. So what the spider's the thing from Black Mailer, the dog. From ceilings, you could lose your lunch. So, what you think? Me up and let's get the fuck out of here. The buck. I'll take it. Two questions. What the fuck's going on? And who the fuck is this? Fuck you. We've got 50 large on this crutch. I would have done fuck you. And you positively reek of Militech. Dexter Deshaun sent me. Dexter Deshaun. Dreads. Gold plate. Fat old fuck. <laughs> that him? <laughs> we'll pay for the bot. Be on our way. How much you say you had? 50k? Preds some, on. some NA trading here with guns pointing in everyone's face. Move it. Not the smoothest deals, but it worked out in the end. His right? name is Dum Dum. That's good gear. Do the <laughs> trick. Whatever that trick is. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! Oh, this is pretty cool. It turns out the cred ship we got from the Militech agents. It's actually not too different from Fallout's bad thingy. Royce, their leader, is making a break for it. It's just more polished and looks cooler. But it's actually basically the same thing as the one in VR. Before we figure out a way to leave, let's grab the splinter that controls the bot from one of these dead maelstromers. They die fast, actually. The inspection system like allows us to take maybe. a closer look at the splinter. You can inspect specific items to reveal details that can help in solving quests. Okay, let's equip I the splinter you know, and chip love you too, man. With this done, my dog now. now. Wherever we go. All right, what else do we have here? My nice. gun now. A street modified tech shotgun. Tech weapons fire rounds that penetrate walls and other types of cover. They also have an alternate fire mode that Look allows you to power up shots. The aesthetics for the guns are insane. It looks like there are several ways out of this room. Like those gates, for example. However, 
You'd have to be a skilled netrunner to hack into this terminal. Luckily, our engineering skills should allow us to disassemble that maintenance panel so we can get through the door. Got it. There are many skills right in the behind. game that players can apply in solving problems. The engineering skill can be used to fix, disassemble, and disarm here. devices blocking the Production your path. line passes through here. And we're gonna pass through with it. So, at this point on, we're going to unlock the abilities of a high-end character to showcase some of the different mechanics we have in the game. My pack? Come on, show melee, show melee! Miss gaming journalist! One of the new weapon modules we now have installed what? is a ricochet Did you see that? connected to our eyes. Did you see that? This allows players well, let me, let me look at that again. Okay, that is sick. That is something I like in video games. This option. So he missed on purpose to show that he could do this instead. One of the new weapon modules what? we now have installed is a ricochet targeting system connected to our eyes. Not gaming journalist. He was pretending. To bounce bullets off walls and hit enemies hiding behind cover. Seems to be put on like easy mode though. See that? Like every time she gets shot, it's like 2% of the HP left. Uh, lower. This is another targeting system that will reveal enemies behind walls. Yeah, nice Paired mechanic. with the penetrating rounds of our tech shotgun, it's a deadly combination. Holy shit! The execution animation on that. Looks like we found some loot. This is a smart gun. It's one of the more advanced weapons in the oh, game. Oh, they have high level to, to show them off. I see. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons Kang are built Tao of Type of 41 for is a Kang Tao. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. The toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that. What is it, all the way? What? what kind of vac is this? It's like the guy from Overwatch, the stupid soldier that everybody plays. Okay, the combat looks a lot more interesting like this. I suppose just the early game is gonna be this really boring cover and shoot kinda kinda play. And then you enter mid game and this fucking becomes the combat. But I haven't seen any melee yet, that's, that's kind of disappointing. I definitely saw an option for melee damage earlier. Jesus Christ. My, my legs. Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all exits covered? Okay. All oh, exits covered. covered? We're going to take this guy down yeah. and connect to, Melee. to his neural son. No, the stealth takedown, actually. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, Jack you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang member, We've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. Holy shit, that is For so now, cool. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. Quick All right, hack. time to show off our new high-level ability. Oh, hi there. Hi there, Melee. With quick hacks. Using the back door, we unlock the minute. Look at the we'll install on that shit. It's insane, that right? The connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. <laughs> ah, it's the hell is Looks like he's having a problem now. 
Nice. I mean, they look pretty nice. Some might recognize these mantis blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls. Double jump, bounce off walls. Agile, I hope they're all unlockable and not part of the base character. It would be kind of silly if they were all right off the start, you know? They definitely should all be unlockables. I'll check down here. The augments, Sweet. yeah. We so. just found <laughs> a corporate tech rifle. Corpo the aesthetics for the weapons the in this game are out of this world. Like, whoever designed these and then made them. Whatever Let's team. Scan this guy and see what's they going did it. It looks like Royce is back. And he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. Like power armor? We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier revealed a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. <laughs> what? Look at a pillar that's slowly getting destroyed. Whoa! What's the cooldown on that shit? Not one of the bars in the top left. Shields down. Let's finish him off. You can dock bullets in this game? What? Okay. Let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot. And Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans, or just decided to buy the bot ourselves. So Sounds many like options, this game gives you so many uh, multiple playthroughs, huh? For sure. And each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. Illusion of choice? No, I don't think so. I just think in these type of games, when they make really fleshed out quests with lots of options, usually you know, there aren't many quests. You really ought to work together but more often. They. Uh, Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. That wasn't the case in The Witcher Three. I fucked you so over. maybe it's not. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Years down the line, you'll be standing where I am, watching somebody else doing. Yep, being a raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, Ida. Okay, let's That's call Dex and tell him how things went down. Thanks, Mr. Nostrum Gaming, for the sub gift. Hey, Mr. Dex. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Mr. B. Well done. <laughs> See you there. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. Not the only thing I'm gonna Did that guy do right anything now? at all? Scotch. Oh, Is that another handler from Monster Hunter World? Igniter, por favor. I saw him fire like one shot. This city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen, I know. We finished the job. He lifted the car. Ah, shit. He lifted the car. All right. Time for the resident This evil. concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. Already better than handling by flipping one car.
I mean, you just have to be there in order to do more than the fucking handler, man. It's just, this is how it is. Hello? Thanks, yeah, hold Mr. On, hold on. Ana Bless for the 34 months. Less than three. What is Weeman doing? Ah, oh, time to finish all of Resident Evil because Rhea has to 